hello hello welcome to my channel it's been a little while <laughs> um i have not been able to come in and sit down and play in my craft room since mm, i believe the beginning of the year and here it is already february something second i think um because of the nerves in my hands i am wearing this because my i'm gonna botch this word i know i am um, median nerve is still s swollen and gets irritated and hurts really bad so um, I haven't really been able to sit down and play because the more I use it is the more irritated it gets but I miss it and I want to sit down and play so I'm just gonna make a simple page just to kind of scratch that itch of wanting to you know do it and I figure, what better thing to do than to go in my book and put something about, you know, the fill in blue, I guess. <laughs> so this page is going to be an all blue monochromatic type page. And I decided to only use one color blue, but try to use the different shades to give me the different colors. And the color I'm using is the Blue Lagoon. So, my plan to start off with is I'm going to go over this, just this one side of the book, this page, all in the regular Blue Lagoon Dilutions paint. And I'm going to do that really, really quick and then I'll be right back. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this stencil, the Dilusions Golden Nuggets in the small, um, and I'm gonna kinda of center it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not a big deal. And then I'm gonna go over with the blue um, Lagoon Shimmer Paint all over. I think I might focus it more up here because the image I'm gonna use is cover gonna cover up most of it anyways. So I'm just gonna go over and Give it a quick little shimmer, I guess. <laughs> I'll do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now while I have my blue paint out, I am going to take one of the Tim Holtz number five tags the distress tags and on both sides I'm going to paint it with just the regular blue lagoon paint and then I'm going to set that aside and then for the sake of because I have the paint out, what I also have, one of my images is the head that looks like this from the Dilutions Let Them Eat Cake. I'm going to actually paint the whole back side of it blue as well. You'll understand why when I put it together. Next up. I have, for the body I want to use, this is the, from the large um, Ladies Who Lunch stamp set, the Dilutions one, and what I want to do is I want her to go somewhere about here, I reckon, just like so, and then the tag, I'm going to make it a tuck. For the tag um, and then the head is actually going to be attached to the tag like that so that way when it's in it's gonna look like an entire body per se but what I think I'm gonna do first is there's this little neck piece 
that's going to be weird for me not going over it like so. I'm going to go ahead and snip it off right there at the collar of the shirt. Just like that. But I also need to figure out exactly where I want this because I'll have to cut at least the center edge off and I guess I can take some off anyways. Alright, let's see. I want the head to land somewhere probably about there. So that way it's covering that ring and it can line up with that. So I think that will be good. Oh, my fingers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make me a small little mark with my nail right here. So I need, know I need to cut that off right there. over just a bit and I'll cut this side off know if I want to leave the legs on or cut them off. Hmm. Let's just cut them off. I'm going to cut the legs completely off. where I want that to go. I have my tag down first and this is where I want it so I'm going to pick up both the tag and this try not to move it. I flip it over and I'm going to mark where that's going so that way I can put the double sided tape all through here. take my quarter inch double sided tape and I'm just going to put it on the outside of those marks. Now, bring this back over here for just a moment, put it where I want it, because I do not exactly remember where it needs to go. <laughs> See right about there. Okay. Now 
now I'm going to get this stuck down. All right, next I have just a couple of the borders I make. I'm gonna run one down that way and one down this way, just like that. Or do I want to go top and bottom? Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. I think I kind of like it this way. Now let's put the head on and see what I'm doing, working with here. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'll go in here. And up here, you're hardly going to see it. No, okay. So I'm going to run these two down each side. I've already put the double sided tape on the back. I'm just going to get those stuck down really quick. Alright, so let's set that aside because I want to come over here to the tag and I want to do something to it. I don't want to leave it like this, so what I thought I would do is I'm going to take some um, of the Blue Lagoon and I'm undecided on whether I want to, because see my plan, sorry, <laughs> is to attach this here. So I guess I could go ahead and attach her head on like so because that would be all right and then the back is all one color <laughs> or that that matches better so let's go with that one so where do I need to put tape to put it about there let me see how far down this goes we don't want it to go any further than it needs to I need it to cover over that, so about here probably. I'll just put it right there and slide it over just a tiny bit. Mark the spot. do essentially the same thing. Put double-sided tape down here and glue and stick it on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Blue Lagoon ink spray and I'm just going to put splatters all over the back side here.
And now for the front side, I'm just going to take my Posca paint pen. Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to doodle me a... Uh, I'm not even sure. Probably just the wonky line or maybe even just one straight line. But without being a solid line. So I'll show you. Just kind of overlapping in the ends here. Just like that. Just as effective. And then I think, because I know I'm going to outline all of that, I'm going to go around and outline down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull my book over and outline all of this really, really quick. Okay, and on the back side, I'm going to go around and do the running stitch all the way around all of it, but not across here because I want to make it look like it's one solid piece. Okay, lastly, what I need to do is because I can't have this sticking all the way up out of there like that. So I'm going to slide this down to where it goes, roughly, just like so. And I'm going to cut off the excess, but to do that, I'm just going to pick up my book and I'm going to bend it over the top there. Make sure that's where that needs to be. And this will give me a perfectly straight line to snip. And this one. Okay, pull that off. And I'm just gonna cut that right off straight across. I didn't color all these because I figure I'll use them later on. So I have this piece to save for later. Put it over here in my little stash. And then I'm going to go in and run my running stitch across there. Here was a quick and easy page. It was mostly just to see how much my hand will tolerate. Um, maybe I don't want to do it. And, you know, I missed it. I missed playing. I missed making videos. <laughs> I missed being able to chat with you guys some. So, it's an old blue page because I've been feeling down for not being able to um, get in here and play. But, I mean, it wasn't a completely uncreative month per se, or however long. We decided that we would take this time to repaint our house, literally. <laughs> our main rooms, I guess, the living room, dining room, office, and our um, downstairs bath all got repainted. We hadn't done it in, oh my, probably 17 years, but obviously it's been very neutral colors white and tans so just really easy to clean up and whatnot but this is it guys and again i have missed doing these it feels good to actually be able to do it yeah i hurt my hand just a bit a few times but that's i'll do what i can you know um so i hope that you know it's i can do another one Tomorrow, hopefully I can catch back up because I am way behind, but that's okay. 
Um, however, over time this will eventually lay down, by the way, because right now it's sticking up, but it will, as the book closes on it, whatever, it'll lay down. So, I have me here a little tag. Yeah, it looks a little weird with that being cut off, but that don't bother me. I can write all through here, and I can turn it over, and I can actually write back here, as well as be able to write back here in these little areas. I didn't want to do a whole lot back there for that reason. And then, we just put it right back, and she looks like she's just standing there in, I don't know, a hallway of sorts, maybe? That looks to be a door behind her, in my eyes. But, that is it. I hope there's something in this video that can give you guys some kind of inspiration for a journal page for you. You know, a completely monochrome page, yes, but that's how I've been feeling, kind of blue and down. Um, so, until the very next time, if you like the video, please give it a like, and I thank you so, so, so very much for watching, and hopefully I can come back, you know, have another video up and going soon. <laughs> um, that's the plan, to get back on schedule. So, just, it'll be there. <laughs> Um, until the next time, I hope you guys stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.